A tribute today to a fallen hero as thousands of fellow officers, family, and friends say a final goodbye to Officer Adid Fayaz. As CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports, the officer is being remembered as a wonderful father and husband and a man of service. <laughs> The mournful cries of a mother piercing the silence on Coney Island Avenue as a devastated family said goodbye to a son, a husband, a father of two, a hero, Officer Adid Fayaz, just 26 years old. Thousands of officers gathered in grief as Fayaz's flag-draped casket passed outside the Maki Mosque in Midwood. Adid Fayez's life was just beginning, an embodiment of the American dream, a young man aspiring to make a great life for his family. Born in Pakistan, Adid Fayez came to this country at the age of five, came to the decision to be a police officer in middle school. The police commissioner says Fayaz was a dedicated officer, up for a promotion. But Saturday night, while off duty and with his brother-in-law, he went to buy a car in East New York. Fayaz walked into a setup and was shot dead in an attempted robbery. Police later arrested a suspect. He had to, you know, fight for his brother's life and also defend his own. His high school friend says he spoke to Fayaz hours before he was attacked. He actually called me the day of. It was really sad. He was um, wishing me happy birthday. And then um, three hours later, it happened. Today, I stand with all the members of my Blue Blood families. Fayaz's aunt had a message for Mayor Adams. My request to you is to make the city as easy to live as was a few years back. And the mayor promised the Fayaz family the city would show its support. To the family. Our hearts are broken, but our arms are strong. We will hold you and lift you up and show you that your son, your husband, did not die in vain.